What's going on everyone, Mike here and in this video we're comparing the Samsung Galaxy Alpha with the Samsung Galaxy S5. The Alpha is the first of hopefully a long series of long-awaited metallic Samsung smartphones. On paper it's not exactly a top tier device, as it cuts a few corners here and there, but in real life it's actually a fair match for the Galaxy S5 flagship, as you'll find out if you'll stick with me for the next few minutes. The first thing you'll notice when having these two side by side is how compact the Alpha feels next to the S5. That was expected since it only packs a 4.7 inch screen, as opposed to the 5.1 incher on the other Galaxy. The Alpha is also slimmer and lighter, but the big novelty here is its metallic frame. The back of this phone is still covered in polycarbonate with a more subtle dimple texture than on the S5 and is still removable hiding the battery and SIM tray behind but not the card slot. Its edges are however made of aluminum with nicely beveled sides. They are actually a major improvement from the chrome plastic rim of the Galaxy S5 and not just aesthetically. The Alpha also feels much sturdier than the S5, as it no longer squeezes and squeaks when grabbed firmly. All this combined make the Alpha a more enjoyable phone to hold and use every day. I personally am a big fan of the smaller form factor and don't really mind the plastic back, as its smooth rubbery finishing actually makes the device more grippy than other devices made entirely out of metal like the HTC One M8. On the other hand, it's important to mention that the S5 is waterproof, and if that's important to you, then the Alpha can't compete. Moving on, perhaps my one gripe with this new Samsung smartphone is the screen's 1280x720 pixel resolution. Now, don't get me wrong, this is actually ok for everyday use, but fonts do look slightly fuzzy, which you'll notice if you're already used to higher density screens. If you're coming from an older device though, that should not be a problem at all. Other than that, the Alpha screen is a fair match to the S5s. Both make use of AMOLED panels with pentile matrices, both impress with their blacks and contrast, both are still fairly bright for outdoor use and both oversaturate colors. Hardware-wise, the Alpha is motorized by an Exynos 5260 octa-core processor, while on this version of the S5 there's the Snapdragon 801 chip, both pair with 2GB of RAM. And the Exynos core is really competitive, holding well against the Qualcomm option in benchmarks and everyday use and even outmatching it in quite a few cases. At the end of the day, both devices cope well with all sorts of daily tasks, movies, games and so on. The Alpha offers a more consistent experience, while the S5 still encounters occasional hiccups and that's probably due to the few pre-installed apps on this version of the Alpha that only features a few Samsung proprietary programs like the S Health and S Voice, but also due to the lower resolution screen. However, you should keep in mind that the Galaxy Alpha comes with 32GB of storage space and there's no way to expand that while the Galaxy S5 is available with either 16 or 32GB of storage and supports microSD cards. Both phones offer removable batteries, but the one inside the Alpha is quite small, with a capacity of 1860 mAh, while the S5 gets a 2800 mAh one. So there's really no surprise that the S5 outlasts its rival when it comes to endurance, as it can go for two days of moderate use quite easily, but the Alpha does not trail back far. It can still provide at least one full day of use and can even reach the end of the second day in most cases, which is surprising given its small battery. Last but not least, we should talk about the cameras. On one side, both feature 2 megapixel front-facing shooter. On the other, there's a 12 megapixel main camera on the Alpha, while the S5 gets a 16 megapixel sensor with a few minor improvements and extra features. Both phones get the same camera interface, shooting modes and manual tweaks and what really matters, both actually deliver good pics and videos, especially in proper light. There are a few samples included in this video, but you'll find more in the written comparison on tlbhd.com, there's a link to it in the description below. Long story short, the Samsung Galaxy Alpha might not look like a worthy competitor for the S5 on paper. It only packs a 720p screen, a small battery, a poorer camera and there's no way to expand its storage space. But in reality, the Alpha is surprisingly close to Samsung's flagship, plus gets really fast hardware and a redesigned body partially made out of metal. The lower resolution screen is actually not as bad as it might sound and it does have a positive impact on speed and battery, plus indirectly on the Alpha's size and weight. In the end, choosing one over the other is entirely up to you. The S5 still holds its fair shares of ACs down its sleeve, but the Alpha has its strong points as well and is a good option for those of you looking for a more premium compact Android handset. You'll find more about both of these in my detailed reviews available here on the channel and if you have any questions or need help deciding between them, the comment section is open and I'm around to reply. Anyway, this wraps it up for now. Let me know what you think about these two Samsung smartphones and make sure to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.